Hello and welcome to Sunnycroft. This is a very rare surviving gentleman's villa in its miniature estate. Increasingly rare because over the years they were ten a penny and they've all been developed or changed or converted into apartments. Ours has remained as was because it stayed in the same family up until 1997 when it was gifted to us. Because it was in the same family for so many generations, our collection tells a story of basically 100 years worth of social history. However, its architecture and its layout, all of its features remain unchanged and have been since 1899. One of which is our remarkably rare conservatory, which we're going to go and take a look at, if you'd like to follow me. So, like most estates, we have our collection of glass houses. To my left is the Cultivation Greenhouse, Bolton and Paul. To my right is the conservatory made by R. Halliday & Co. We affectionately call it the Halliday because it was made by R. Halliday & Co. And they used to design and produce huge conservatories for very, very, very large estates. And as I alluded to before, we're an estate in miniature, so we have a miniature one. We've used this up until 2018. It's a beautiful, beautiful space to use. However, it began to deteriorate and we knew we needed to restore it. We went through quite a long process working out the best way to restore it. And through that research, we discovered just how few Halliday conservatories there are left. In fact, there's only about three. They are often renovated using more modern materials we chose to restore ours because of its significance, because all of its original features were still completely intact, right down to its last screw and bolt. This also has the most amazing, delicate, intricate engineering system. So I think it's time we went inside to take a look. Follow me. Of course, a restoration project like this costs a lot of money. With the correct architects, specialist craftsmanship, lots of research, it does take an extraordinary amount of funds. So in order to be able to do this building and the property justice, we needed to make sure that we approach that sensitively, but also practically. And so we launched a dedicated fundraising campaign. And through the amazing generosity of our visitors, members, supporter groups and our local community, we were able to raise the funds to make sure that we could get this project underway. Thank you. So first we had to understand the structure. It was slightly off centre, to say the least, and we needed to establish whether that was something that had happened over time or whether it was a character of its original build. And we say that because it's remarkably only held up by three very, very delicate braces that carry the load just down to its four corners. So we can use the entire space without any central support or pillar. We had planned to start this project in 2020, so when COVID hit, we were really worried it was never going to get off the ground and that the structure would deteriorate further. However, because of the dedicated funds that were raised, we were able to begin it, albeit a bit later, but we started it in 2021. It's still ongoing, but it is so near completion and it's been a delight watching it happen. The workmen have been very proud of the efforts. We've stuck to our philosophy of approach of retaining as much of the original material as possible. And all of those original bits and pieces, including the windows, now work better than ever. It's very nearly done and I can't wait for you to see it for real. Here at Sunnycroft, we work very closely with the local community and bring in different groups of people at different times to experience different things. We're really lucky that our site is geographically very accessible and that our collection is very familiar to people so that they can relate and understand the stories but also identify with themselves. We take this approach because we are really more than just a place to visit. We have the power to connect with people and to fulfil their needs at their pace. Thank 
thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed your little tour around our Halliday Conservatory and learning a little more about Sunnycroft. And thank you also for your continued support. It really, really does matter as it helps us look after these places for future generations. Thank you.